Sam and Steve, and I'm going to be talking about the Q. What is the Q? And, you know, most of you, all of us heard when you're waiting online and, and to talk to some, you know, company maybe or whatever that you're at the doctor's appointment, whatever's going on, you're in the queue. And your number is 1, 2, 3, 10. You got 10 minutes, whatever it meant. You, the queue. And what the queue is, you're on hold. Well, it was interesting. A person that had an ending experience it named it, and I thought it was really very appropriate, the queue. And what it is, you're on hold. What happens about the queue is, and this some of it's based on my experience back in 2010 when I was in the car accident, and others are just other than the experiences putting it kind of together. You're in the queue because you died suddenly. There are those people who just were not absolutely ready to die. They wanted to continue living, and, and the queue is a basically a facility, and it's a very, it, and there are rooms in there, and there are, your guardian angel, all the, they're they're trying to help you to get adjusted to what's going on, but sometimes they're you know different remedies. But I'm going to talk about one thing just real. Uh, I, there was a nurse that came in here, and she was really going through quite a bit. Um, other circumstances I won't get into, but it has to do with her, her father who passed away, on a car accident. He wasn't ready, and he is still angry. In the next life, he's still angry, and he's still holding on to it, and he comes back to the family members. You know, it shows the anger, things going on, and he's still alive, so on. He's having a real hard time adjusting. That happens to everybody. There are people that sometimes they have, to, they can't, they can't let go. They can't, they can't let it go. And let me tell you about, you know, there. Are, what are the remedies? The remedies are it, pretty interesting. What goes on? And one remedy we've heard stories about children. And one in particular that comes to mind is a child that was uh, just a very young age, loved to but talk about flying. To find out there was some investigating after that, and there was a plane called the Corsair. And some of you may have heard of it, some of you not. It's a plane that was used in World War II. Knew everything at two, three years old, knew everything about that plane. The instrument panel, everything. Just everything, knew it all. And how it handled, all kinds of things. And they were, you know, and the family were just kind of, you know, they didn't, they, they couldn't understand how he could know some things like that, but he did. And what they found out after investigating, there was a memory of a, of a pilot who passed away, and that's one of the remedies. In other words, they come through a, another person, and they're not overtaking the person at all, but their memories, they, they kind of live on. And and I'm going to tell you, based on what I experienced and some others, the remedy is that sometimes you're allowed to come back into life through somebody else. And the decision that has to be made is that either they can come back and, and, and through somebody else, if they decide, you know, to be reborn, when you're reborn, to be honest with you, what from I understand and what others understand, your memory, like I've talked about before, your memory is totally erased or temporarily erased. So there's no memory of any previous life whatsoever. Some people want to continue and they want to still have their memories, so they go through somebody else, or they're, they're, they come back into another lifetime. But if they come back into another lifetime, there is no memory of any previous life whatsoever. <laughs> It's interesting about it. In the queue, and also in the queue, it's a facility in their rooms. If you go into the room, it's wholly, totally different. And what the, the experience, or what goes on in there, it accommodates. It, it, it's specially focused on whatever the person is going through, and they try to get you through it, try to get you adjusted. Some people are just, they just take it all of a sudden, you know, whether it's a car accident, whether it's a, you know, some, a victim of crime sometimes. It, it, Died, you know, a heart attack, sudden a medical condition, whatever it may be, many reasons. But some people are just not ready. That's the cue, everybody. And that person in the experience labeled at the cue, and I thought that was just right on. It was just that's the best way of describing it. You're on hold until until you get adjusted. Other things that go on in there in the cue, um, there are people that want nothing to do with God. They, they're just not they they. Don't, they know if they meet with God, it's kind of accepting, you know, and, and, and as I said, some people just want to hold on to life. They want to hold on all the memories, and, and they're just not able to adjust to it. But at some point, they do get adjusted. At some point, you know, and, and they're going to have that meeting with God. Nothing is forced on you again, and I've said this many times. It's free will. Choice is everything. If God does not force himself on you whatsoever. You have free will. Even in the next life, you have free will. It continues. And what happens, sometimes people come around, they, they finally accept what's going on, they finally accept all the things that are going on with them, and they know when they meet with God, 
they're about to, they're they're gonna go in, they're gonna evolve. And how that evolution that's really between them and God. They come back in another life it's if it that's society they continue, you know, in, in living in, in the heavenly kingdom or in the spiritual realm. All kinds of things go on. So basically what I'm talking about and the in the Q is a part of it, but it's also, you know, it's it's all just towards towards you. Every person you every person when they have their take their last breath, it is actually formulated, focused on exactly on you, and what you know. You made the decision what the next step going to be. You're you're in consultation with God and others that it, it, other spiritual friends you have, guardian angels, all kinds of stuff that goes on. It's just you know. I said this is based on my experience, but also based on you know other people that the experience they talk about. But I thought the key was really interesting. I, I thought it was a really great way of describing it for those who just die suddenly. And they're just not ready. They need the time to adjust. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to sign off. But I appreciate your time. And as always, hope your day is going well. Until the next video. Thanks again for watching this video. Appreciate your time.